So, two things. I've always said that reality is coupled to perception. And so you never get to see the world as it is. You get to see the world through the prism of your perception and your cognitive biases and your cultural uh, programming and stereotypes, all, these, all this baggage that you bring to every moment to color said moment. So that's one thing, right? Reality is coupled to perception. The other thing is that perception can be actually tweaked, can be willingly modified with, by, our, by ourselves. Like we can we can take a knobs and levers approach to manipulate our own reality. We have a say in our own experience. <laughs> and the, the, the question is how we do this. You know, I've thrown around terms like choreographing reality or stage designing your life, but think of it as theater. Think of it as cinema. One of the things that we know is that through editing, a director, right, the person engendering the reality can make you feel a certain way about the reality that is unfolding. He can inform your perceptual experience. So, for example, there's this thing called the Kuleshov effect, right? The magic of editing embodied in this technique called the Kuleshov effect. Here's how it works. They show uh, an old man, okay, you don't really know what to make of him. Then they cut to a scene of a nice mother in the park with her child, and then very serene. Then they cut back to the old man, and the old man kind of goes and smiles. As an audience member, automatic, you think, wow, what a sweet old man. He's smiling at the nice family. Like, this has been framed to make you feel that. It's been cut to make you think, what a sweet old man. Then they show the same shots of the old man, but they change the shot in between. So again, a shot of the old man, then they show a shot of like a young, sultry woman in the park. Clearly sexy, but clearly way too young for him. And then they cut back to the old man and he does the same smile as before. This time you think, what a creepy dude, like he's lusting over this young woman at the park. What has changed? The two shots of the old man are exactly the same. The woman, right, with the, the family, the mother and the daughter, were switched for a sultry woman. So by changing what he looks at, the whole context of the scene and of your ideas about who he is have changed. So I guess my point being, we could act as the directors of our own experience. Rather than think fatalistically, oh, we don't ever get to see what's real, we're all being manipulated by the way society is structured, I say, take control, exercise voice volition over your perceptual experience by stage designing your life the way a director stage designs a scene. Edit your life accordingly. What is out of sight will be out of mind. So bring all these, <laughs> architect your mood by bringing all these physical cues to create the scene you want to create. Play the right song, light the candles, invite the friends that you love, create that halo effect, right? Like there was an article in Architecture Magazine recently about the sunken living room where all the sofas are facing each other. And it was saying just by designing the living room in a way that all the sofas face at each other instead of facing at the TV, people are forced to engage in different phenomenological styles. They engaged more deeply deeply with one another. The key idea, my friends, is that you should feel empowered by the ways in which perception can be modulated. Instead of being a victim and saying everything is manipulation or everything is perception and therefore wrong or unreal, think to yourself, because everything is perception, I can engender my own experience. Because everything can be warped by my creative and linguistic choices, then I should exercise those creative and linguistic choices in ways that enrich my life, right? To make myself uh, smarter, kinder, gentler, more full of wonder and awe and hope and faith. My friends, be the DJ of your own life. Be the editor of your own experience. Be the director of your own movie. Be the singer of your own song. Be the pen of your own poem. Be the paintbrush of your own painting. Because you are the canvas. You are the paintbrush. You are even the paint. It is all up to you. So hopefully that's making you feel empowered. The key idea being here, if we don't exercise volition over our own experience, somebody else will do it for us, okay? That's all I gotta say about that.